And the Canadians had a, a pub, a tavern on Hammond Street that moved to Spring Street. It was called Canini Saloon. Um, and when he passed away, um, I think his name was Patrick, um, they turned it into a candy store. And the building is still there on Spring Street. Um, but, and my grandfather was saying, um, Tom Canini was a policeman on Bellevue Avenue. And they, he, he, they called him the whistling cop. He didn't use a whistle, but he directed all the traffic before he had Memorial Boulevard. Mm. Um, and he would, um, you know, let all the ladies pass. And I mean, he was very, um, you know, I guess, very nice to all the ladies. Nice well, I know my father, uh, when they were getting married, he did look at a house, a Whitwell place, and he could not leave the Fifth Ward. Oh. All right. He, and he they, I, I think he may have even had made a bid on it. But he um, just couldn't do it. He, the McDonald's were around the corner. Um, the Hazes were here. I mean, it was really, they played a lot of basketball in my backyard. My father made sure um, the kids could play basketball and he put a light out. Um, so the kids came to the basketball games. Um, I went to Rogers, so it was a. Pretty Irish? No, I mean, Rogers was Everything. the whole city. Yeah, I mean, right, it was the whole right. city. So, there was no, just I mean, there was no separation. Everybody there. got along and everything. Yeah. yeah, it was different. I, I was never really allowed to walk on Thames Street. Really? I don't really, you know. Like would, where the lower Thames? I no, I mean, just from about Wellington, mm -hmm. up. Oh yeah. Yeah. All of that. All the wharfs areas. Yeah. You know, huh. It was tough. It was a real rough place. Is your yeah, because my that? birthday is in March. Mm -hmm. um, so my father always uh, cooked on parade day for my birthday. So he was the cook. And your house? Terrible cook. He oh. cook. <laughs> well, he and only, he'd say... He only had to cook meat and potatoes. That's all. Said, so. they, actually, his mashed potatoes were outstanding. <laughs> um, but um, he'd say, it may not taste good, but it is good. So <laughs> that was his, the whole thing. My mother and father were very... Um, they were big beach people. Oh yeah, tell us about the whole and, um, beach no, My father didn't really swim a lot. I don't think he knew how to swim, but um, my mother was quite a swimmer. But they would uh, hang out at Gooseberry Beach or Viking Beach, it was called back then. Um, so my father and a, you know, a group of men, my father being one of them, went out and collected $100 of 130 families, and these are round numbers, and they bought Gooseberry Beach for $10,000. So they could still enjoy that beachfront, and I have some old pictures of before the buildings were there, and you know my great grandparents, my grandparents, my great grandparents hanging out there. Hmm. And a hundred dollars was a lot of money, yeah, back then to for them, um, for that for that group of people. Oh, yeah. But Gooseberry was was good, very central, and the church was always central, Saint Augustine's. I mean, my father was a collector there, you know, he had twenty five cents, um, the seat money. And he had a high table with a green felt thing, and you know, he could make change with 25 cents to get into church. I think I really had to pay 10. It was seat money. Oh, yeah, Do you remember seat money? Yeah. I remember you had to pay. Yeah. 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 Well, I have a picture of the Canadi Saloon, and I have, um, as I say, that's, that building currently is on Spring Street. Um, and I have a photo of uh, my grandfather in one of the old policeman outfits. Um, and I have a picture of my grandmother, Henrietta Ring, in a rowboat in Narragansett Bay. That's really, I mean, she looks like she's in the middle of the bay, and you can see, kind of see Fort Adams in the background. Mm -hmm. And she's all, and she's in this beautiful white dress and gown. And, and so a those row are, boat? pardon me, she's a in row a rowboat. Row uh, row dress and gown. Dressed. Yeah. So that's, the, I have like in my, my area, I have, you know, the Canini um, Saloon and my grandmother and grandfather Canini photos of them as young, and then a picture of, um, of my, um, on my mother's side too, of her parents. Yeah, like, well, it's funny, my father was a, was a mailman, was a letter carrier, and his route, his mail route was the mansions. So, um, that was later, but there's still, I mean, I remember stories about, um, you know, all the, the, the various families, and he got along very well with, with them, and he would know a lot of the servants, but that wasn't the... You know the grand ages. You know of the of the mansions. It was more in the 
uh, 60s, 50s and 60s. He would have stayed here. I mean, he had a lot of stories that, that he knew. Mm -hmm. um, he would give a great tour of that area for people who came in. Ah. Um, you know, because having you know, delivered mail there for so many years. Did he do the tour on behalf of an organization? Or no, just, just, just himself. Family, family. Oh, that was it would fun. be really funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm.